So guys, winter is approaching again and we gotta winterize our houses and get ready for those cold days. This is my backyard from last year. In the midst of getting my house ready for this year's winter, I wanna share with you 5 simple steps you can DIY to winterize your house effectively and save a lot of money and feel comfy and cozy in your home during the long winter months. You are probably familiar most of the steps, but the last one is unusual and very effective. I highly recommend you to watch this video till the end to find out. Before doing anything else, I gathered my materials. Big hardware stores have more than plenty of what we need. I picked up variety of stuff. Whatever I don't use, I can always return them. First step is doors and windows. In order to winterize our houses, we gotta get them sealed up. These are the door sweeps I picked up today. They go to the bottom of the doors. This one requires you to remove the door, but I'm not going to use this today because I want to keep it simple. I am going to use the ones that doesn't require you to remove the door. This one is the simplest to use. It's self-sticking. It comes in three feet long and my door is three feet. I don't have to cut it, but otherwise it cuts very easily. You can just cut them with scissors or utility knives. Clean the surface before the application and try to leave minimum gap possible in the bottom. Just remove the backing paper and stick the piece to your door. And please don't forget to like the video if you get any value out of it. It does help my channel a lot. This is the U-shaped door bottom. It just slides in. It has multiple layers of fins and it seals much better than the first one. I'm going to install that today to this door. As you can see, old one is have holes. It's already falling apart. Another hole. Imagine the draft coming in from these holes. First, I'm going to have to remove this old bottom. This could be an easy task or could get a little tricky like mine. Mine was stapled and heavily glued down. So I had to struggle a little bit, but eventually I got it out. But it was glued so heavily, it broke into many pieces. It's very practical that this just slides in. It's made out of vinyl and I'm just going to use my hand saw to cut it. I measured it first and cut it to the right size. Be careful when you do this, plastic is a little bit hard. Just slide it in. That was piece of cake. And the last step was the screwing it down with the screws they provide me. I have a metal door here, so before I did that, I made a little dent and used the low setting on my drill. And that's about it for the door sweeps. How about around the doors? I have already this weather stripping installed on all my exterior doors and very happy with them. You have to have a curved door though to, for this to work, meaning that this thing grew runs along the door right here and the flat part is just pushed into this groove and when you close your door this provides nice airtight seal between the door and the frame you can find all the materials i used in this video in the description section below now let's talk about the windows where we lose a lot of heat and get a lot of draft right so first we need to detect where the draft coming in you can use your hands for this or you can do a flame test wherever your flame starts to flicker that's where your leak is mine looks pretty steady because these windows are in pretty good shape i picked up a bunch of different products for you here depending on your situation you may choose to use one or multiple these are self-sticking rubber foam weather seals they come in different width and thicknesses in black and white this is a quite a thick one for large gaps 
Here is another option. This one is a thermoplastic and it's rubber, not the foam. Here's another one. This is a caulking cord. They are flexible like Play-Dohs. You can shape them any way you like. You just push these into the gaps to fill up the space and they also come in light gray. They are reusable and they don't dry up. Let's say you have single glass window, which means you are losing huge amount of heat from those windows. You might consider using one of these insulating clear films. It comes comes with a double-sided tape, goes around your frame and you stick these clear films to insulate the entire window. I also picked up this clear plastic tape, it's for both indoors and outdoors. I've never used this before but it might be a practical solution. It's a thick plastic and it's supposed to cover the air leaks and it sticks well and it removes well, it doesn't leave any residue. So something to consider. If the air is leaking from the window sill, there is this product that's a sticky from one side. It's a foam strip. You could just place it on the sill. Or you can use this garage door sealer. That's another option. This is not going to stick by itself, but you could just place it on the sill and then close the window tightly and lock it it might actually give you a real good seal on the bottom don't forget to check the sides of your the window frames and also door frames to see if there's any openings any gaps if there are any fill them with your caulk and that's about it for windows and doors now we can move on to the next step for step two we're gonna go outside of our houses and check for all the holes and gaps where the draft might be coming in this is my utility wall where all the ugly stuff is happening you see a couple of holes they've been already filled last year i filled them up the little tiny holes but i didn't realize this huge hole behind this I was probably getting a lot of draft from here. I have a couple of options to fill these holes. I got great stuff. It's a foam filler, spray foam filler. I have my caulk, exterior caulk, and also I have this caulking cord. I think I'm gonna go with this. Ideally, I should use foam spray for that size of a hole, but once you open that can and start using, you have to finish it up. Otherwise, rest is useless because insulation dries out in the nozzle. If I have more foam insulation requiring jobs in the future, I might just do them all at once, remove all the cord caulking, and then just fill them up with foam. But for now, I'm good with this caulking. It's fast, it's quick, I'm just gonna fill it up and I'll be done. This will do the job for this winter. I assure you if you go out and look around your exterior you would find one or two of these holes. Last year I had another problem. I had these huge openings under the cantilever of my living room. There was lots of draft coming in, lots of heat loss. I used this insulation reflectix to cover the bottom of the cantilever and made a huge difference in the winter time. I'm going to leave a link right above here how I did that uh, insulation. You can watch that video. This is the end result. It made a big difference in the inside temperature. This takes us to step 3. Check your insulation wherever is accessible and replace anything is missing. I picked up this roll just in case I have some missing insulations. I'm usually good at this but I'm gonna go ahead and check all my attic and I don't have a crawl space but I have some space under some staircase and I'm going to replace all those missing pieces. It would make a huge difference guys so don't skip this step. Insulating our exterior wall outlets are also a good idea. These sealers are not too expensive, just a couple of bucks and they are good at preventing draft coming in. Very easy to apply and you will feel the difference right away if you have any outlet that you feel the draft. Just unscrew your plate here where draft comes in. Block it with this and screw your plate back. That's it very simple and very effective now let's move on to our fifth step this is an unusual way but made a big difference in my house after seeing the results of applying reflectix under my cantilever i decided to use the same material on my cold walls look at the difference of temperature after applying just one layer of reflectix but then you're gonna say too but it looks hideous 
but no worries i had a solution for that too so i put a, a self sticking wallpaper over and the wall look better than before i'm going to leave a link right above here if you're interested in watching that video last winter i could comfortably sit in this room without freezing there is one more place we might be losing a lot of heat that is our fireplaces and i have a solution for that too but i kind of ran out of time for this video and that's gonna have to be another time thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye